Welcome to TradeTheMBI.com. This is John's reports for the 19th and heading on my way back to uh, America. Well, going to Rome first, but um, Monday we'll be in Rome and then Tuesday morning early leave for the U.S. to get back into regular Pacific Hour trading, which is kind of a shame missing that uh, overnight action, which has been pretty much uh, the most effective for the last few months because this is an easy way for them to play with the low volatility. As you can see, we're still holding above the L line. We're just doing our normal cycle dip, and that's just indicated here by this reducing uh, value of the shakeout. But we've still held up with um, our DOC. In fact, let me enlarge that just a little bit, make it easier to visualize. Uh, we've got crossovers of um, green above red. We've got a reset of the steel, which means that's what's sort of keeping things a little weak because we're not have the turn up yet. And we're just about to have uh, cyan, negative 175. Um, could even have a red crossover above it, in which case that would be full blown. But I know, contrary to everything. Nasdaq's remaining right down at the lows. It's still negative shakeout. See, in comparison, it's um, Go back to the ES, you can see the difference in the weakness. Positive shakeout and negative shakeout. And some of that was just because this got ahead of things. And so now we're just getting an equilibrium. And the Euro maintaining itself. Central banks have this one locked down pretty good right now. Um, holding up real nice. We had a re complete reset. Uh, new buyers flooding back into it. Um, nothing you can do about that. And it's right within our range. So, I mean, this is sort of stupid because we've been predicting it for so long it's not even funny uh tlt it's crazy it just keeps going up here uh following from that buy but is what it is you have to take it i mean still saying below red i mean though the red is getting a bit extreme now i think we're sort of pushing any kind of reasonable boundary with it but it's just an indication of uh the mixed dynamic the fed the power and the uh, lack of market free market action is really it's just been going on for quite a number of years and nothing's changed. So, oil continuing to be on the downside of things. This is still an indication that we don't have enough demand outstripping supply. And that is problematic, even though you're seeing some decent, um, well, it's kind of lopsided back and forth. I see half the economic reports with optimism are great. However, it's not translating yet into significant moves because there's been no uh, change other than regulation, which obviously is going to spur some uh, corporate movement, but um, there's still a lot of headwinds, and don't fool yourself and think that there aren't. But typically, within that kind of range, is sort of like even in the mid 90s again, it, market bias is still higher. GLD still seeing a little bit of weakness from it, but um, look at the ABMs right up there. The 12040 was the turnaround point. We don't have a reset yet of uh, short-term buyers, but it's about to happen here. And the fact that uh, long-term buyers have been trailing higher than the uh, midterm is an interesting one because it's usually a pretty good sign of accumulation going on throughout uh, that. As long as this continues to rise, if you get a pivot lower, then I would expect a significant drop back down to the lows to fill back in this uh, dip below the red line, which would be the likely location for the next move down and you can see it was beautiful we had the nice run up we got the positive uh plus 13.5 and we went straight down from there we had nice collective uh mini buys but the real powerful one came later on the reset right here which happened to be exactly where the first ones did it was just in a stronger position with all the factors uh from shakeout and everything else combining and then sure enough that's what caused the takeoff so we're able to see that under certain weaker shakeout uh readings that it's not always as attractive as just relying on that doc because we get a little bit more impetus from it then as soon as we start to get the acceleration for a trend usually about the same price tag i think even if we look at these uh from a dip standpoint that was right around 24 24.75 and the eventual buy came in at 24.24 so there you have it and beautiful reset and it's followed it all the way up so overbought here short term so we might see a little bit of a dip in aftermarket but Nothing all that dramatic. I think things are pretty much in cruise control. Uh, things have really calmed down politically and stuff, uh, despite the shooting of a congressman and things, but that uh, could change. So we just keep active with following what's going on and we'll stay sharp on it. And as I get opportunities, I will post, I will be 
um, just on the plane uh, your Monday night through Wednesday um, because of the time change stuff. As always, trade well. We'll talk again later.